It's no secret that medical marijuana is on the rise, not only in the United States, but across the globe as well. According to recent surveys, in late 2020, over three quarters of the US population approved of medical cannabis. And with the devastating COVID-19 pandemic, evidence shows more are interested than ever. In fact, the medical cannabis market is now annually growing at a rate of over 20%. And at least as of early 2021, still not a single dollar has gone from a Chinese mainlander to a cannabis dealer. At least legally, that is. Yet, despite this, China maintains one of the deepest, richest histories with both hemp and medical marijuana of any nation on earth. So, what is that history? And why does modern China frown so heavily on medical marijuana, going as far as to call the legalization in the United States, quote, a threat to China? This is for the future of us all, how China discovered medical marijuana. We choose to go to the moon. We choose to go to the moon. Before we get into the history of medical cannabis in China, we'd love it if you would take time to hit the like button and subscribe. Not only does it help us understand what kind of content you guys want to watch, it also helps with the YouTube algorithm. Thanks. As early as 1250 BC in the Shang Dynasty, starting in small villages in Taiwan, the ancient Chinese are thought to have transitioned from simply using hemp seed for nutrient to exploring the entire plant's myriad of benefits. This is according to Chinese historian and botanist Hui Lin Li. Referred to as ma, cannabis may have first been implied medically as a reduced powder mixed with wine for pain reduction prior to surgery by the early Chinese surgeon Hua Tua. And the ancient spiderweb doesn't end here with the modern Chinese word for anesthesia, mezuai literally translates into English as, quote, cannabis intoxication. Around the first millennium BC is when we can safely state that medical cannabis was widely used by the average Chinese, as its name ma also had taken to colloquially mean sitzless or pain relieved or muted. This is likely due to a legendary Chinese emperor, Xin Yong, also known as the Red Emperor, who supposedly ruled over China for 140 years, here in his usual portrayal draped in garments made of plants. Ma, or medical cannabis again, was one of the treatments the Red Emperor supposedly discovered. It was immediately pointed out to be special, as the ancient Chinese believed it to encompass both the yin or feminine qualities such as passion or empathy as well as the yang or masculine qualities such as strength and activity. As said, the first Chinese surgeons performed superficial surgeries to treat ulcers and small tumors, mostly on the surface though. This all supposedly being perfected by Hua Tuo in the second century. Through today, Hua Tuo is known in China as, quote, the god of surgery, inventing an anesthesia known as Ma Fei Shen. However, according to a 14th century Chinese novel called Romance of the Three Kingdoms, the exact formula for the anesthetic was lost. This was apparently due to a warlord named Cao Cao suspecting a conspiracy to kill him via skull surgery to have been headed by Hua Tua. But there's even more involved with home medicine. As in the Song Dynasty book and illustrated classic of Metric Medica, a recipe calls for cannabis to inhibit pain for severe injuries that inhibit movement in the patient. Next, in 630 AD, during the reign of the Tang Dynasty, medical marijuana was studied academically, 
for its multitude of health and surgical benefits. But with all this being said, today in China, hemp and cannabis are viewed far more negatively. This is thought to have been possibly connected to a ever-existing confusion regarding gendered plant parts, meaning later physicians found recipes or instructions difficult to follow and faithfully replicate as they used not only different terminologies but different processes for understanding and manipulating plant genealogies. Therefore, it naturally makes sense that combined with early 20th century views on marijuana in general, cannabis is still illegal but steadily more popular in China today, with roughly 24,000 more marijuana users being added in 2020 alone, according to some reports. As the global community is slowly becoming more and more okay with the plant, China is digging in, becoming more adverse to the substance than ever. But it'll be interesting to see how it plays out. As Chinese marijuana usage is primarily among the youth, so it's expected to grow over the next few decades, possibly at a fairly quick rate. But what are your thoughts on the future of Chinese and global cannabis as it grows in strength as a general industry? And further, what are your thoughts now that you know the basics of how connected the ancient Chinese histories are to medical marijuana? And for the future of us all, we better get educated and find solutions.